Hey guys, this is me, Nico, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Minifix for You review. I apologize if my voice is a little bit coarse. My, uh, uh, I kind of have been coming down with a mild cold, uh, or, you know, maybe just a little bit of allergies, but, you know, it's uh, springtime coming early in California, so, you know, big uh, change in the weather, and, you know, Fresno's always had that bad kind of weather. Anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing clone commander Bly for you guys. Now, as we remember, Bly was one of the fastest selling Minifix for You Starcourt Premium Customs ever to be sold on Minifix for You. He sold out uh, very quickly, although he did not sell out as fast as Captain Rex did when Rex was brought out for the second time, I believe. Um, I believe almost like 20 of him were sold in the first day and, you know, he was sold out. So, you know, uh, I'm just glad to see him back, but really guys, I think this review of this custom should have been done a long time ago, at least for me. I probably should have done this review around the time when I had the XX Misery X 9 channel, and I was just getting to review uh, Commander Devis and Commander Cody, as well as the 212th Trooper and the 212th Airborne Trooper. Um, so... Anyways, that's just a little bit of the backstory of why this re my, I think this review should have been done by me a long time ago. But I'm glad to say that I am able to do it now. Now, unlike the customs, the custom minifigure reviews that preceded this, this custom is pretty much what we can consider an old custom just because David used an area light helmet with this, just like he did on Clone Commander Cody several months back and same thing with clone commander Devis both area light helmets as you can see so anyways guys um, a little bit of a backstory behind commander Bly although I'm pretty sure a lot of you know the backstory behind them he was second in command of the 320 for, uh, 327th Legion under Ala Sakura and we mainly know him as that commander uh, we didn't really see too much of him in action in the actual Star Wars movies. We only saw him gun down Ala Sakura on Felucia. Uh, after that, we saw him in Phase 1 Clone Wars armor back in Season 1 and Season 2 of the Clone Wars uh, with him fighting alongside Ala Sakura, Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, and Captain Rex uh, on the uh, planet with all the uh, lemur-like creatures. I forget the name of that planet. It slips my mind at this point. But... Um, Really, after that, we didn't see him in Phase 2 armor in the Clone Wars. That was an unfortunate thing that I'm sad to say didn't happen. But I'm glad to see that uh, we can still kind of recreate our own battles with Commander Bly using this figure. So, as always, you know, like I said, same packaging. It came with uh, the mini fi the uh, Lego Boy Productions business card. I'm going to take that out of the way. Now we get down to the overall review of the figure. Basically, same old, same old with the weapons. You get seven Clone Army Custom weapons with this. You get an aerial, actually not an aerial light. This is uh, a Clone Army Custom, actually this is not a Clone Army Custom visor. Um, Clone Army Custom visors are a lot less thicker. That is an aerial light visor, if I may excuse that. Cape Madness, uh, Pauldron, and Waste Cape. And all Clone Army Custom weapons. So... Get down to the figure here, move the weapons out of the way. Overall, guys, great overall printing on the figure. Full on waist printing right there, as you can see. Zooming in on that. Very, very nice detail on the breathers. Of course, this is an area light helmet, so there is still really great substantial quality with this. Just like it majority of area light helmets there are, there is the uh, see-through gap on the eyes right there for the mask or not the mask the uh, helmet so of course for these customs they do require black heads that's the one thing I don't like about area light customs is because they do require helmets like that just so you know you can get the authentic clone look you have really nice back printing um, 
nothing really too special about the pauldron and wastegate, you know, just the traditional uh, outline of the blue and actually not blue, but the yellow uh, for the uh, left side of him here and the yellow outline of the wastegate here. Very nice light detail. There's not much, there's actually some back leg printing right there on the uh, top, unlike uh, the ARC Troopers, we saw a lot of the back printing coming from the bottom of the actual clone itself. So, that is it for him. The one thing I am disappointed about uh, with this figure, just like Commander Bly, uh, we did not receive an area light visor or with the uh, or micro binoculars with the detail on the inside. I would have loved to have seen uh, the full on black printing in there so that that way it would have made the micro binoculars look a little bit more authentic but it's still a nice touch to just have the micro binoculars on there I think it really completes the look and you may notice the difference in color tone from the helmet compared to the rest of the body that's just uh... I don't really think it's too much of a flaw I wouldn't call it too much of a flaw but you know it really doesn't make a difference I mean if you look at it the pauldron and wastecape do have a different shade of yellow also compared to uh, the helmet and the printing on the legs as well as the torso but overall if you really just take a quick look at them you can't really uh, fixate on the difference now of course if you stare at them you know for a little bit longer than you can tell but you know not too bad uh, just like all of the older premium customs you had this nice little detail on the arms here uh, actually, this is kind of more equivalent to the newer premium customs uh, with the nice little detail on the control panel on the right arm here. And really, that is it for the custom. Still a great custom. Like I said, I would have loved to have received the printing on the top of the micro binoculars. But overall, I'm really pleased with the detail on this custom, and I wish I could have got him when he first came out with the... Commander Cody and the older premium customs. Sad to say that it took me this long to get them, but you know, hope this uh, review can help out with uh, the buying of him if he does make a return to the site, which I b do believe he will because, I mean, Commander Bly, who doesn't know who Commander Bly is if you love the Star Wars series and who doesn't want him as a premium custom if you have the money or, you know, you just really want a custom clone. So I'm going to get down with the... Uh, weapon views of all the weapons he came with so let's get on to that alright guys here we are with the view of the first weapon that comes with Commander Bly this is his primary weapon and this is a Clonomy Custom DC-15 rifle now originally guys I did think that this was a little arm shop DC-15 rifle but after a second look it is a little uh, Clone Army Customs DC-15 rifle, as you can see I almost said Little Arm Shop again. But um, you can tell there's a major difference in the Little Arm Shop uh, rifle compared to the uh, Clone Army Custom rifle. For one, you can see uh, the difference in barrel detail. I actually do have a uh, Little Arm Shop blaster here. You can, do, you can tell really easily just by comparing the uh, middle of the weapon detail right here you can tell by the middles of the guns that there is a lot more sophistication on the Clonomy Custom Rifle which is the top one and there's also a lot more detail going into the barrel as well as the small little ammo chain at the bottom here and as we can see right there there is a major significant difference in the barrel design so, that is my small comparison of the LAS and uh, CAC DC-15 rifles. But, um, really guys, like I stated earlier in the review, this was a primary weapon for Commander Bly. And this is the weapon that we have seen him use the most, even in the Clone Wars series, when he was in Phase 1 armor. And overall, this weapon is a really good fit for him. So... Now, I will show you guys the secondary weapon, the DC-17 pistol. Alright guys, here we are with uh, Bly's secondary weapon, the DC-17 Rex pistol, end quote. I already stated to you guys in the 
Clone Army Custom Wave 1 Weapons Review, uh, why it's technically called the Rex Pistol, just because uh, in the Clone Wars series, Rex is the one who popularized this kind of blaster. But overall, it's just the DC-17 blaster. And uh, as you can tell, Bly can definitely rock the DC-17 pistol. I can definitely picture him, picture him having two. Although, we mainly remember Bly because he was one of the only clone commanders, like I stated earlier in the review, who used a DC-17 rifle as their primary weapon. So, really guys, uh, he's one of the commanders who can use both uh, weapons that are really not di uh, really different in uh, sizes. We've seen commanders in the Clone Wars series do that sometimes, and Bly is definitely one of those commanders. Now, uh, it does really look good on him. And really, this weapon is also a nice fit. Like I said, this is definitely his secondary weapon. And now I'm going to move on to the last two weapons that came with this uh, custom here. Really, these two weapons I'm about to show you guys next are just fillers, uh, and I don't think that they're really appropriate for this custom. Here we are with the scuba rifle. And like I stated in the weapons one, the wave one weapons review, this is a weapon strictly made for scuba troopers, yet you still see this weapon given in all of the extra packs, uh, at least that I was provided with. I'm pretty sure for those of you who got the customs earlier, you did see receive a lot more weapons that were appropriate for Commander Bly. And really all of the clone commanders that I have previously reviewed, the ARC troopers and the regular clone trooper, uh, really I would have liked to have seen maybe... Uh, some of the DC-15 blasters instead of the scuba rifle and maybe even some of the Star Corps pistols because uh, Commander Bly's Legion is the 327 Star Corps unit. And, uh, you know, Star Corps pistol, you would think, you know, you would have received a little bit of those in this package. But, um, unfortunately, that was not the case. Uh, overall, I think this is a good weapon. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look too bad, but... Then again, you know, Bly is not a scuba trooper, but really, I think uh, with uh, his ranking at Commander, I think he could have definitely used this weapon and made it look good. But overall, I think there could have been more appropriate weapons for this selection instead of the uh, scuba rifle. And you, I personally received three of these, including the one that's on Commander Bly right now. So I'm going to get on to the last weapon, which is the E5 Droid Blaster. Here we are with the last weapon I received with Commander Bly, the E5 Droid Blaster. Now, you guys already know my opinion on the E5 Droid Blasters. I don't like them being supplied to clone troopers. Really, these are droid weapons. That's why they call them the Droid Blaster. Now, same thing as the Scuba Rifle. I think with his status of Commander, I think uh, he really could have pulled off the look. Um, but then again, I think if you put this on a custom... Uh, that has the area light helmet it do it does look better than if you put it on a custom that has CAC's clone helmet because I can kind of show you guys the comparison here if I were to put the same exact weapon on say the regular clone trooper also done by Manifix for you but he has a clone army custom helmet you would see the look would not be the same it would kind of look a little bit weird on CAC's custom. Now you can see what I mean. You can kind of tell just because, I mean, Aerialite's helmets do have the resemblance of the older uh, clone helmets that we did receive in the uh, battle packs of 2005 when Episode 3 came out. And really, as you can tell, with Clone Army Customs clone, or not Clone Army Customs clone, but... Uh, this is a main free for you clone, but Clone Army Customs helmet uh, on the right, it doesn't exactly give the same vibe off just because, I mean, they're two different uh, helmet designs and really, uh, you know, different looks. But overall, I think, uh, you know, because Bly uh, is used or has been made with the Aerialite helmet, it does give him. Uh, a little bit of that look to where he can pull off using any weapon of his choice. And I already showed you guys what I meant there. 
by showing you guys that. But um, really, that's uh, that's up to you guys to decide whether or not you want to put a droid blaster on a clone. My personal opinion on that is I don't really suggest doing it. But um, as you can see, it does kind of look good on older customs with area light helmets. So that is one mild plus you can say about having uh, droid weapons come with this clone. And then again, guys, if you want to stock up on weapons for your droid army, then it's also good to receive droid weapons in the package too. So that's my thought on the weapons. Now I'm going to get down to my overall thoughts on the custom. Alright guys, so my overall final thoughts on Commander Bly. I think Commander Bly is a great custom to have for those of you who have been collecting Mainfix for You clones all the way back from when we were, we were receiving Mainfix for You clones with the older uh, LEGO Boy Productions box art uh, packaging. I think his rating is an overall 5 out of 5. Great custom clone to have, even though the weapon selection was a little bit off just like the other customs, although you can't blame David for uh, just stuffing weapons in there, all the weapons he had. So, um... You know, overall, great, uh, great clone to have. Uh, definitely, if he comes out a third time, go and buy him. Great clone to have in your collection. That's all I can say for anything else, for any other comments I'd leave out of this review. Check the comments section below in the review. Um, thank you guys again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next review, which will be Commander Bakara or Commander Thorn. Actually, I believe Commander Bakara will come next. See you guys next time.